Few of us who grew up in the 1980s, or any other decade, would argue with Dr. Emmett Brown's introduction of the DeLorean DMC-12 in Back to the Future. If you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? We now know that the same principle applies to futuristic hydrogen fuel cell demonstrators. Hyundai's Envision 74 Rolling Lab bears more than a passing resemblance to the DeLorean's stance and proportions. It has a genuine, if distant, connection to the stainless steel sports car. Hello everyone, welcome. This is Real Channel Automotive, a place to help you understand the world of automotive mobility. Please subscribe our channel to receive future updates. The Envision 74 was revealed earlier this year as the Hyundai Indivision's interpretation of the type of high-performance, sustainable driving excitement that is possible beyond fully electric cars. It is a unique vehicle full of experimental technology that combines Hyundai's innovative fuel cell hybrid architecture with a daring design, representing the company's exciting vision of the future. Hyundai's end division uses its rolling labs to explore ways to develop latest technology for high-performance applications. But what really makes the Envision 74 distinctive is how it blends the company's past and future. Design-wise, it pays homage to the timeless Pony Coupe concept designed by Giorgetto Giugiaro and the early founders of Hyundai who attempted to bring it into production. Under its iconic lines, it makes use of battery electric technology in combination with a fuel cell electric vehicle system to bring to life the potential of hydrogen-based high performance first previewed by the N2025 Vision Gran Turismo concept car of 2015. Sustainable vision for high performance at the very beginning of in-brand's inception. Unlike existing FCEVs that use integrated hydrogen fuel cell stacks to feed electricity directly to motors, the Envision 74 adds a step with its large 62 kilowatt hours battery. This improves the peak load of the batteries and in conjunction with three independent cooling channels, keeps them within the optimum temperature range for consistent power delivery even during longer stints on track. Engineers created a cooperative control system to allow the two different sources of power to work together in maximum synergy during track conditions. The end result is a fully drivable vehicle with more than 500 kilowatts of power, more than 900 newton meter of torque, a top speed of more than 250 kilometers per hour, a driving range of more than 600 kilometers, and the ability to refuel to 80% in five minutes. The dual charging capability allows for adaptability to changing operating conditions and the availability of either electricity or hydrogen. One of the Envision 74's key development goals is to provide the driver with the most intense driving experience possible, even under extreme track conditions. The Envision 74 hydrogen hybrid architecture presents novel heat management challenges. Three independent cooling channels for the battery, fuel cell, and motor allow for improved energy efficiency and performance resistance. This consistency is critical for the Envision 74 to deliver on its promise of driving engagement. What's under the hood? A fuel cell powered by twin 4.2 kg hydrogen tanks hidden beneath the slatted rear deck. They're pumped up to a terrifying 700 bar. How come they don't just blow up with the forces within? The solution is ballistic carbon fiber. Hyundai created the tanks out of a bulletproof lightweight weave. Filling the tanks takes about 5 minutes and provides approximately 370 miles of range. This, however, is not just a hydrogen car. It is a hydrogen hybrid. See, the Envision 74 also has a 62.4 kilowatt hours battery that can be charged quickly from the mains. So, it's an electric car first and foremost. But when the battery runs low, the hydrogen fuel cell can kick in to extend range. Except for water, there are no emissions. The disadvantage is that all of this engineering is heavy, two and a half tons in weight. On the contrary, it's quite fast. Each rear wheel is powered by its own electric motor. They produce 670 horsepower when combined, and because they are controlled independently, clever handling tricks are possible. 
Torque vectoring can help you slow the inside wheel in a corner to pivot the car towards the apex if you're careful. If you're feeling frisky and childish, you can unleash the 664 pound-feet torrent of torque in tandem, unsticking the rear tires and launching the Envision 74 into monstrous drifts. Normally, concept cars are intended to garner attention, to twinkle on a rotating plinth for five minutes at a motor show, and then to be dumped in a storage unit until they are reclaimed by nature. But because the end division was determined that none of the technology in the vision was beyond the realms of possibility, and the end division has a great sense of humor, they built a fully functional prototype. And by functioning, I mean that it has air conditioning, power steering, and a working dashboard that displays real-time power levels, lap times, and torque distribution. It has a more advanced dashboard than the latest Volkswagen Golf. As a testbed for the future of hydrogen and its high-performance ambitions, Hyundai has managed the fusion of the latest technology with an iconic design moment from nearly 50 years ago. It remains to be seen whether today this vision of the electric future will have a better fate in terms of production than the coupe of then. Surely it has the numbers. In Hyundai's intentions, it has spectacular road holding, is ready to compete on any circuit, and is also good for going out to buy the milk without spilling it, hopefully. Thank you for watching. To receive future updates, please subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next video.